All right, y'all. We're going to Joe's Retro World. This weekend, I got my hands on a second PSP. And but what I mean by second is that this is my second PSP. I actually have another PSP 1000 model already. And then I was lucky enough to, to be blessed with this beautiful, beautiful one right here, this PSP 1000. It was dirty, but it was well taken care of. So there's almost no scratches on there. There are some, but very few. Everything works great. I uh, took a toothbrush to it and some alcohol and cleaned everything up. I did not take it apart. Um, I just basically blew it out a little bit and, and dusted it off. And it really wasn't dirty, so there was really no need to take it apart. Everything works on it great. The volume, on the buttons, everything works. It was clean on the inside here. It did come with the game, but it was beautiful. Uh, there's Major League Baseball. I got another one down here to test it out with. But, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful PSP. And the only issue they had was it needed a new battery. So I popped in my battery and it turned on perfect. It worked great. Uh, so what I did was I went ahead and ordered a battery and a charger for it. And we're going to see if they're good. We're going to see what quality they are. If they are, if they feel super cheap or if they feel, you know, close to the original equipment because I have the original equipment. The original batteries in here and I also have the original charger I'll be getting just to compare it to these other ones. So this, let's move this PSP just to the side a little bit. Let's get this Amazon box over here. And it just came. I just literally got home from work and I'm literally making this video right now in my work clothes with my work boots to my side. Yes, if you're gonna do a YouTube channel, you gotta put in the time. I'm tired. I'm, I've been up since 4.30 this morning, but I gotta make time for my fans, man. Y'all have to know this information. Y'all need to know whether or not these cheap batteries and power cords from Amazon are worth buying. All that, all that, that big box for two little boxes. Yes, way to save trees. You know you got smaller boxes, Amazon. Amazon Prime. I pay you for that customer service. My customers, the customer is not satisfied. He's angry right now. All right, so let's take out the, the original. So this is the Sony 3.6 volt, 1800 milliamp battery pack. You can see it's always good quality because it's Sony. PSP 110. So let's break open this uh, this replaceable battery. Let's, let's see what it looked like. Man, it's really kicking my butt. Okay, let's let's focus like this. There you go. All right, immediately it feels cheap. <laughs> God, it's heavier. It's heavier, but look at that. I mean, they they just spray painted it on there, but they kept the same this shape. See the swoosh. The so the design is is basically on par. Yeah. It's, uh, uh oh, sorry. Trying to focus. There you go. Plus, minus, it's okay. Sony cut their corner. They didn't cut their corner. <laughs> Up here, you can see it. Sony took the time to cut their labels. They didn't do theirs. But it's all good. Everything else looks uh, pretty much the same. So, let's pop her in and see if she has any juice. Let's see. Does it fit? And you're supposed to snap in place. There you go. Okay. I guess because it was a new battery, I had to snap it. Snap, snap, snap it. Okay. 
Let's see if we got some juice. Oh, it has some life in it, baby. Is that a beautiful intro? Okay, so we're just going to go with that. All right, let's check a game out. Let's try this on Metal Slug, baby. And battery is almost full. That's nice. It's almost full. Cool. All right, let's get a close up like this so we can uh, check out some game action. That's nice. The battery is like that. It came straight. Already charged up, you know, so at least you know it works. And yeah, it's cheap. It was only ten dollars. It was nine ninety nine on Amazon. Um, I believe I paid ten or twelve for the this power cord. We're gonna take a look at that power cord in a second once this game kicks on. Sorry for all that glare. Look at that. That's a lot of glare. Oh, is that is that a lot of hair? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, well, we're waiting for that to boot. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna unbox this power cord. Alright, that part. Here's the bottom piece. Same company, I think, Intense, right? But this is what it was. So let's move this over here. Let's grab that original charger. See what it looks like compared to that. To the fake one. All right, so one difference I can see is just uh, the mere size. All right, we're gonna let that play in the background like that. Oh, we, uh oh, yeah, it's all right, stay like that. Okay, so the size is way different. They're the same thickness, same width, basically the same. There's is thicker, and yeah, it feels good, but it's just smaller. It is larger, so I don't know why it's larger. I don't know if they just gonna fit the same components or whatever, or afford them, so they got different ones, different voltage regulators or something. I don't know. I don't know what but it's a lot smaller and it does feel kind of cheap it feels and it looks cheap to me it does but it's okay as long as it works what about the ends the cord is very very thin compared to the original sony cord look at the difference i mean that is a huge difference it's like half then you know half the thickness is the original Sony. That kind of worries me because thin cables, um, that's not a lot of protection from electricity. I don't know how well built that is, but oh look at there. That cord has a little band on it, you know. The Sony is perfectly straight, nice, and okay, can you know, high quality. So let's see how it fits in this uh PSP down here. No, we're gonna keep rolling, baby. We're gonna keep rolling. We drop a box, we keep rolling. Snaps ain't good. Comes out easily. Let me see what the original feels like. Original has very little wiggle. Very, very little wiggle. The new one. New one doesn't go all the way as deep in, and it feels a lot looser. So, I'm going to have to plug it up and see if it works. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, big difference. That's weird. Let me see. Let me make sure. It sticks out of that much. Yeah, that's a way big difference. Yeah, it, it sticks in. It doesn't go in as, as far as the original. Okay, so let's go over here and see if it's charging my battery real quick. Okay, y'all, so I have it plugged up, and it is charging correctly. I've been having it plugged up for about a good 10 minutes. I've been watching it. And so, yeah, it's charging correctly. Uh, let's go ahead and take this battery out and see if it's still 
runs without the battery in it like it's supposed to okay so yeah it's working it's still powering as you can see the power light changed from uh, red orange back to green where it's just powering if it was the battery was in there charging then it was so orange so yeah so so far these, these cables and battery they are they're cheap they only cost me $25 total with tax and all so I couldn't beat it I mean I bought them separately different companies but hey it's, it's getting the job done and in the long run I can afford another $25 six months from a year from now if it ever fails to fail and hopefully this charger ain't gonna be those types of chargers that will mess up and go out quickly but yeah so all right um i hope this helps you out i'm gonna have a link to the ones that i purchased so that y'all can go ahead and get the same that way y'all know that hey these do work at least okay all right so until next time peace and much love from joe's retro world